What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by BricsCAD. And as you guys can see, this is awesome software for 2D or 3D CAD development. There's also building information modeling. There's also product design, manufacturing, third party application, project management, and even concept design all within one. Here's a variety of brands that they currently work with. And last but not least, they also offer a free academic license and free develop developer license for uh, you guys as well. With that said, you can also try it for free for 30 days without a credit card. So go ahead and check out the link below. Let's go ahead and see what these guys have to offer. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and launch the application. And as you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys the tutorial section first, because for a lot of you guys, this is probably completely brand new. And if you're working in the industry and whatnot, it could be kind of intimidating to go and start working with a brand new CAD software, whether you're, I don't know, 3D printing something or trying to design what I did, a cool little garden. Now, as you guys can see, you can uh, learn about 2D drafting, 3D modeling here. There's so many. You can do everything from uh, turning uh, 2D entities into a simple 3D, 3D manipulator. We have There's things on here I don't even fully understand, although I don't really work in 3D. Um, and then there's also customization options, which is really important because if you've ever worked in CAD software, you know that customizing it to make it look like whatever you originally learned on or whatever your company prefers is really, really important. So there's a variety of tutorials on that. Lastly, there's also drawing and installation. And of course, you can mess with the interface face there's printing and plotting and there's even programming right here so first things first in order to get started we can start a brand new drawing open other drawing or start from a template here is what I worked on what I'll be showing you guys and you can even choose the profile you're working in if you're you know messing around with multiple projects you can also choose to not show this again there's also a different preset so you can have a drafting profile there's a modeling profile that will you know allow you to zoom around and mess around with certain aspects a little bit better when you're 3d modeling there's a BIM profile and last but not least there's a mechanical profile for designing parts and assemblies so let's go ahead and check out what my little project looks like. So in the past, I've worked with SolidWorks and 3ds Max and Maya, and those are like CAD slash 3D printing slash 3D modeling software I've worked with in the past. And this thing has a basic way of doing all three, depending on what you set the workspace to. So of course we have drafting, drafting for two with toolbars, and then modeling, but mechanical and BIM all within this right here. So right now I'm just gonna stick with this particular platform. And as you guys can see, the options are endless for tweaking this in any way you want. So let's say hypothetically, I wanted to keep adding to this. So let's go ahead and select a polygon. And then I'm just gonna add that right there. And afterwards, what else should we add? I'm thinking, let's see, what are some more interesting things? Uh, free sketch, no, not yet. Let's go ahead and add a three point right here. And I'm just gonna select that like that. All right. And let's just say this is like a jacuzzi or something. And then last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a donut here because why not? All right. And there you go. That will be what hypothetically I assume to be my jacuzzi. But let's say I'm really rich. I want two jacuzzis. So I'm going to put one right there. And you can get really creative with this. So if you're really feeling it, you can go ahead and use this for any particular thing. So let's say you want to just say that this is going to be a plant over here. And then we're just going to layer that like that. And before you know it, you got yourself the Olympic symbol. How cool is that? Now, what exactly can I do with these particular shapes that we just messed with? So let's say I want to go ahead and scale these upwards. You can go do that. You can stretch them out. Uh, you also have a 2D mirror effect as well. And then there's a variety of options here for trimming, extending, so on and so forth. There's also annotation. So let's say I really want to tell everyone that this is a pool. So I'm simply going to select the font. And as you guys can see, they have every font in like existence over here. We want something called plump. And uh, you can tweak this, italicize it, and I'm just going to type, oh great, I forgot to type. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to type, jacuzzi's probably long, jacuzzi, I don't even know if that's how you spell it, but you guys get the point. And we're going to scale this down. Um, let's choose a different font. And we can even tweak the spelling in here or the spacing in here as well. All in all, that looks pretty decent in my opinion. So from above, you know, it's not it's not the best work I've ever done, but it'll do for the sake of this video. So next off, we also have different layers you can mess with. We also have blocks and there's tons of things in here that I don't even fully understand yet. And then there's groups and last but not least, you can measure distance. So let's say I choose this and I want to see how far this is from this. You just select the ruler and you can see the exact degree you're working with. And of course, the exact distance you're working with, which is pretty awesome in regard to this space. 
Now in between here, I want to show you guys all the different customizability options. So as you can see, you just right click on here and afterwards you get a trillion different options for everything from uh, 3D solids to uh, curtain walls to lines. And these are all individual little sections and menus that pop up when you select them. So let's go ahead and choose something like, oh, there's one for tips. Let's say we want layers over here. Let's say we want components. We also want our render materials. And uh, afterwards, let's add one more for kicks. I'm just showing you guys that you can add these. I would suggest not cluttering your workspace like I'm doing, but if you do clutter it, they organize it itself in nice little tabs. Now, in terms of workflow efficiency, another cool thing that helped me out while designing this is being able to not have to deal with all these menus. So we have insert, annotate, paramatic, we have view, we have manage, output, and even collaboration options. However, that's kind of annoying to jump back into and even having your menu and everything set up beautifully it can get annoying. So what they did was they made it so you could right click and at first only text shows up. So you can go and add text like I originally showed you guys. So let's just type something random, right? So you can add text like that. But another cool thing is if you keep hovering, you can have access to your ruler directly from here and you can measure things like I showed you. There's also options for trimming. So that's pretty cool. And what else do we have here? And it will actually default to whatever tool you use last. So once again, increasing efficiency, erase, we, and then here's something really cool. Once you jump down here, you can actually hover on draw, insert or general, and it will give you access to a bajillion other tools. For example, you can print, print directly from here. You can also insert a PDF or you can jump directly into the camera. And last but not least, all the different unique tools I showed you for shaping things up all are available right here. How cool is that? Something important that I haven't fully figured out yet, but that's really crucial is, of course, the command line down here. So, of course, there's tons of different things you can go and do with that. So some of the simpler options I showed you guys here, but if you want to get into more advanced options like opening up XREF files or, of course, uh, Blockify, there's uh, what else is there? You can put a full on DGN into here. So all those are inside of insert. You can also annotate things in different ways. Uh, you can go ahead and add different types of text. And then the really interesting thing here is uh, let's see where exactly did it go? All the different views are actually really cool as well. So you can choose the exact viewpoint. So maybe you want this particular view, which makes this look really awesome, actually. So if that's the particular view you want to go for, you can jump into that. But you can also choose to save and restore certain views. In fact, if I don't know, maybe you're zoomed up on a certain spot right here and want to keep jumping back to that, that can be really useful. There's a billion different tools in there. You can manage scripts inside of here you can record one a stop and you can run a particular script there's a drawing explorer and you can load full-on applications and visual basic for applications is in here as well and last but not least it's really cool you can actually uh, collaborate directly within this and if you have an account you know everything is really awesome so if you're working with a company or if you're planning on purchasing this for your particular company this is really awesome the last thing I want to mention is the all out settings. So it seems like everything's kind of a settings, right? Like you right click and there's a bunch of settings and then you go to the top tabs over here and it's a bunch of settings, but the main settings are right in here. And as you can see, they are really in depth. And this is actually really important because if you want to cater your particular bricks CAD for your particular company and your needs, whether it's mechanical or CAD or 3d modeling or design for a 3d printing, uh, I don't know, whatever you guys are trying to design, it's really important to have everything customized and mend these settings go very very in-depth here's just a look at all the different options you have uh, let's see geographic location underlays we have options for dimensions program options um, and it just keeps going on and on and on everything is super configurable that's probably one of my favorite things here everything is very seamless and my last thing that I'll mention about this is that it loads very very quickly now on here you guys might be like, all right it's only one simple little thing it's not even 3d but let me tell you if you open up 3d uh, files on here and then you open up a bunch of different tabs everything opens up almost instantly and you can open probably 12 to 15 individual files going at the same time in different tabs and it will do perfectly fine and these are like 2d 3d all different than maybe mechanical one and you could have uh, just constantly jumping between your workflows now, the last thing I want to show you guys is uh, the different workspaces so I wasn't drafting this entire time but we also have modeling so if you're working in 3d modeling as you guys can see this might be a lot more familiar and this might be something as you can see a lot more access to the particular shapes um, and then uh, let's just I don't know for kicks let's just go ahead and check out the other few so we're gonna jump into workplaces and this is of course their BIM one 
And last but not least, we'll check out their final one, which is their mechanical. So if this looks somewhat familiar and this looks like something you guys want to work with, then of course, this is probably the software to go with. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and check out their link below. This is going to be me logging off.